Good afternoon, everyone. This is Evelyn Mantilla coming to you from Access Health Connecticut. We welcome you to today's webinar. We're very happy that you have the opportunity to take the time uh, to listen and see some of the new information that we want to make sure is in the hands of everyone considering this extension uh, for open enrollment. I want to do first a couple of housekeeping items. Uh, participants are automatically muted once logged in. Please keep your audio muted for the duration of the webinar. Additionally, we really like to take questions. Uh, however, we ask you to hold them until the end. Uh, at any time that you would like to record your question, feel free to use the chat box that is on your control panel. And at the right time, after the official presentation, we will answer those questions. Lastly, if you find your audio component experiencing any technical difficulties or you wish to call in instead, please switch from audio to phone call in the control panel. You will be given a phone number and access code to dial in and listen to the webinar. So let's get started today. Today's webinar is titled Open Enrollment Updates for 2019, and I'm happy to let you know that our presenters are Deb Eastman, who is an Enrollment Services Manager, as well as Shelly Peer, many of you may uh, be familiar with Shelly as well, who is the CAC and Broker Support Supervisor. Let me get started with Deb Eastman. Deb, welcome. Thank you, Evelyn. Good afternoon, CACs, and I just wanna say many, many thanks for supporting us through Open Enrollment and beyond. Um, and thank you for joining our call this afternoon, and I'm going to hand it over to Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining, joining again. So today, we're just going to go over some questions or some information relevant to the extension we announced last week. So as you know, the extension starts as of 12-16 through January 15, 2019. We're treating this as regular open enrollment up through the 15th of next year. So what does that mean for our consumers? Well, first thing is they have more time to shop. That means more appointments for you, fortunately, unfortunately, but we're gonna be very busy all around. So we're counting on you guys to make those appointments and get people enrolled into our system. The next factor is a lot of people may have already chosen a plan for 2019 and are thinking of changing going forward. So as you can see in the diagram, for those who are currently enrolled, they must honor their January coverage and pay that monthly premium. Any changes or enrollments going forward during this time will have a 2-1 effective date. So as you can see here, again, if they are enrolled in the current 2019 plan, they are responsible for their January premium and they will move forward in the new plan starting February 1st. Now, in processing these changes on their consumer portal, logging in into their account, the option you should choose is report a change. When you do that, you'll be presented with a list of options to choose from. Now, you must choose or check one of these boxes in order to proceed through the application. In most cases, if your client does not have a particular change to, re to report, we advise uh, a change of address. And simply, that means changing maybe the street from being spelled out S-T-R-E-E-T -E -E to just the abbreviated version of S-T or Avenue going or something to that nature. Um, otherwise, if there is an applicable change, choose that option. So once you've done that, you'll review the application and then get presented with the eligibility determination screen. At that point, you will choose the option that the client would like to move forward with, with APTCs or without. When you proceed to the next page, you'll be presented with the enrollment disclaimers. A lot of you are familiar with this page. So just go over the points listed there and you hit next. Now, after you've shopped through the plans, you'll be presented with this final screen or one of the final screens. The first half of it will show you the plan that they're currently enrolled in. If the client is choosing to switch, they must uncheck this box. It's simply saying that I wish to remain in my currently selected plan. If the answer to that is no, and they want to switch, you must uncheck this box. On the bottom of the same screen, you'll see another checkbox that says, I have read and understood the above disclaimer. This box must be checked in order to move forward. 
One other thing I want to bring your attention to is the sliding scale. So this must be adjusted to match whatever the consumer would like to take, the amount of subsidy they want to take for the plan going forward. So make sure you've adjusted this sliding scale, uncheck the first box, and make sure this second box is checked off. Now for consumers without any current coverage in our system, you'd simply log into their application or their consumer account and hit enroll into coverage. You'll move through the application just as normal and then submit and get a 2-1 effective date with that enrollment. And our last group that this applies to, if you have a new client that's never worked with us or has an account on our system, you have to treat them as a new consumer. Go into our webpage, www.accesshealthct.com and either choose enroll now or create a new account. So the next big question is, well, what kind of assistance will be provided to the consumers going forward? As of 12-15, the original last day, our CEP sites, our enrollment locations that were peppered across the state will be closed, are closed. So we're relying on the CACs, our brokers, and of course, our in-person at three enrollment fairs in January to provide assistance to our consumers. So as you can see here, I'll let you take a moment to look at that. We have three scheduled in Hamden, East Hartford, and in Bridgeport. Please take notice that on the two Tuesdays, we have some evening hours, and this is intended to promote enrollment for the working client that may not have time on a Saturday or during the day, and they can meet with you or meet with us at those fairs to enroll. We have the one Saturday that will be our normal hours, 10 to 2. And of course, we always have the call center available. We have the hours posted here through the extension and, and our holiday hours are posted there as well. All this information is also available on our website. So don't think you'll ever lose uh, sight of this. But I'll take a, let, let you guys take a moment to review those. So that was very short and Yeah, open yeah, up the questions. Open questions. Terrific. If you have anything ahead of time, we'll answer those and we'll look at the live chat now. Great. Thank you, uh, Shelly. Thank you, Deb, uh, uh, for that uh, you know, clear and concise information. We did have a question that came in ahead of time. Uh, will clients be penalized if they don't have insurance in 2019? The answer to that is the tax penalty is now $0. So the answer is no, they will not be penalized. The tax penalty is now $0 in 2019. Terrific, all right. As I indicated at the beginning of the uh, process of this webinar, uh, please type in your questions into the chat box. Um, I, uh, Sarah, I'm not able to open the chat box for some reason, so I'm gonna look up at the screen and um, see if anyone has any specific questions. Don't be shy. This is the time to get these questions answered and so that we can all be as effective as possible in this extension of the open enrollment. Um, and while we wait on that a little bit, I just wanna also say thank you for you, for you taking the time uh, immediately after the lunch hour as uh, we are today uh, to get this information and we would love to make sure that uh, you help us get the word out uh, with your colleagues as well as to these changes and the way in which the open enrollment is uh, being extended and how we hope to be able to cover uh, even more people and especially help those who may need to, because of changes in their premium in particular, may really need to shop, still have extra time to shop, and get the best deal possible for their families. So again, any questions? While you guys are thinking, I just wanna offer, uh, as you may know, we have a designated email inbox for CAC support. So if you have issues with your clients regarding their enrollment or the application, there's a glitch, 
or you just have questions about OE and this extension, I'd like to provide you with the uh, correct email address. It's IRD, as in dog, dot outreach at ct.gov. We're going to place that in the live chat, um, chat box for you guys to record as well. But again, that email resource for CSC support is IRD, as in dog, dot outreach at ct.gov. And of Terrific. course, you always have our call center and you guys must know just like your social, 855-805-4325. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shelly. Already, I don't see any questions coming in through the chat box. If uh, I can check on our presenters, do you think, think that there are any items that uh, you know, folks will want to know? I think that we covered uh, the important points. So I think we're good, Evelyn. All right. Terrific. Now, let me hand it over to Shelly one more time because she has a wonderful announcement. So for those of you who have been longtime CACs, Gigi Garcia is no stranger to you. She's been supporting the CAC community for uh, several years now and has been doing an awesome job doing so. And Access Health has actually recognized that and has added her and promoted her rather to CAC and broker support supervisor. So she will now join our team and continue providing awesome service and support to the CAC community and also to our brokers going forward. Uh, again, reaching out to her through that IRD.outreach at ct.gov is the right, right way to go. Uh, if you'd like to offer your congratulations, you can at this time through the chat box. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great idea. <laughs> Absolutely. Congratulations, Gigi. We, we very, so many of us are familiar with her work and uh, are uh, very pleased uh, for this promotion and, you know, her her ability to mm -hmm. add her talents to an even broader base. And, uh, oh yes, we do see this is an awesome uh, news. Congratulations to Gigi from one of our participants. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Gigi is in house and perhaps we can embarrass her and make her say a word <laughs> or two. No, I'm excited to, to hop in and, and do this. I'm really excited to work with the team and work with the CACs and brokers. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. So again, help us spread the word around about that because we all know the talents that she provides and how we are, uh, you know, really happy to offer our congratulations as we, I can see in the chat box, our CACs are pleased as well. All right. So with that, I think we are ready to close the webinar. Thank you so much again for your time. We look forward to continuing our communications with you as our CACs. And let's all work together to make sure that this open enrollment extension is also a great success for our consumers. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. And we wish you a great rest of your day as well as a wonderful holiday time. All right, thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Goodbye. And Shelly.